Aquarius. It's L here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Aquarius. So this is going to be a reading. We're going to jump into um, what your person wants to tell you. Okay, this could be past, present. Um, what this person wants to say to you. There's been an energy stalk in the Aquarius readings for a while now. Let's see. What does a person external to this reading to the Aquarius want to tell the Aquarius? The Three of Wands. Uh, vision. You know, um, they have vision here. They see you in the future. They see you in their future. They want a future with you. Five of Cups. Yeah, but they're sad. They're saddened. There's regret. There's remorse. There's um, this person could have chose somebody else over you. They could have kept the relationship open. They could play games. Now they're missing you and they regret not saying things. They want to communicate with you, but they just don't know how to. They don't know how to get out of their feelings. It says the relationship is recoverable. Now look, think about that. The relationship can be recoverable, but it's not that you're going to get the same relationship that you had before. Like, look, the Aquarius may say, okay, I forgive you. Have a good life. We've recovered the relationship in terms of we're not on bad terms anymore, but we're not going to go in, into a romantic connection either. The person could fear that that is the outcome if they do come to you. What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? Uh, Seven of Wands. Um, they want to. F they're trying to get your attention. They want you to set your sight, your eyes on them. They want to release some burden. They have something to say to you. The will of fortune. They want to persuade you to. They're going to take a proactive approach an activist approach to change your mind or they want you to change your mind about them. They could even be trying to come in and have sex with you and hoping that, you know, maybe some sexual activity will help you change your mind. Could be dealing with the Capricorns, uh, Sag, Pisces, anybody here. Maybe that's how it happened in the past. Tell us about this person cards. Let's let's talk about this person. Um, so basically what we just gathered is this person wants to communicate to you. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to recover the relationship. And they're afraid that you don't want to recover the relationship in the old way and how it used to be. They want the status quo back, how it used to be, how it's always been. That's what they want. And they want to actively physically change your mind. They want you to set your sights on them. They want to come in, you know, and disrupt this, the boundaries that you have made, you already have constructed against them. So you built up the boundaries, you constructed like a construction worker and they want to come in destructive and tear down the boundaries and change your mind. And by way of doing it, it's like they were have sex with you, they want to do something with you, you know, it's real, it reads as really manipulative, it reads as trickery or mastery or maybe even magic. Tell us about this person. What do we need to know about this person? What does the Aquarius need to know about this person? Um, love came out, you know, um, they could love you, all right? But what's love got to do with it? No. What else does Aquarius need to know? There could be love that, you know, rests between the two of you, but are you in love with this person? Um, there has been weeks, months, years, I don't know, weeks of no communication, but um, they're not happy or they, you make them happy. 
But the cards want you to know that, you know, they could be a con man, a fraud, a liar. You know, everything they say is cap. It's a lie. It's, it might just be best to stay away. What should the Aquarius know? Okay. All right. So this came out complacent. Yeah, this like some of you are good in this place because you're like, look, don't talk to me anymore. Um, wow, this came out in reverse theatrics. You're just not with the whole song and dance that they, they used to give or the lies that they used to tell. You're just over it. You know that they're not honest. They haven't been. And there is no future legacy in reverse. There is no longevity here. They know it too, but they're stuck on you. They are addicted to you. They need to have their fix of you, Aquarius. Why is this person trying to come back to the Aquarius? Why is this person trying to come back to the Aquarius? Let's talk about why this person is trying to resurface in the Aquarius life. Why is this person trying to come back to the Aquarius? Whoa. All right, I didn't even get a chance to shuffle good. All right, because they're lovesick over you. They can't even get out of bed. This could be their karma for treating you so bad or just not giving you what you deserve. Um, they're so confused. It's like they're trying to do two different things at the same time. Their mind, their emotions are all crossed up. They could be with, they could be in a relationship with somebody who's taking advantage of them. Could be a mean girl, mean guy. Right, wow. This game, I don't even know. I didn't even read it. Currently being used and they know it. It's like, so they're in a bad situation with somebody that is kind of in and out. That's here for the fun and the games, the lies and the manipulation. They also want to come back to you because with you, they're happy. It is a sense of therapy or you're therapeutic with that stoner card and that, um, that happy card. They want to come back to you because they're in need of therapy. Ain't there some bullshit? You should hit them with a bill when they come back too. Like, uh huh. Uh, and I'll send you the invoice. Yep. They were with the games and the BS, right? And they made you fall in love with them because it was fun and funny. And they used to be in this energy of, you know, they were with the, the shit. They were in and out. And now they're kind of stuck on you because they saw your good nature. Okay. And um, now they want to come back. They want you to fall in love with them again also. They act like a spoiled, rotten child. You gave too much to them, Aquarius. Some of them could want to come back because they got literally fired from a job or somebody's breaking up with them and the money could be low. Why does this person want to come back to the Aquarius? Why does this person want to come back to the Aquarius? Wow, this came out because they're not physically attracted to their partner. Why does this person want to? Okay. All right. Again, we got another card of. We, firstly, we got they can't get out of bed. They're lovesick. They just can't get over you. They need help. They literally need help. They're in a, for some of you, they're in an unhappy marriage or a relationship. You are their drug. You are their therapy. You are the one um, that can take them to from unhappy to happy because we have the happy card first. This person is a user. They give nothing to situations. You know, they give, they place value on things that are not value valuable they gave to somebody else they gave to a person that was you know that had no value um they didn't give to you they want to take from you 
This, this is the type of person that you could like put them on to something new, new knowledge, a new restaurant, new way of dressing, new this, new that. And they go and give all of that information, all of that newness to somebody else who didn't even value it. This person is an intellectual thief. They are an emotional thief. They just a thief altogether. They come to steal. They don't give shit back to nothing. Okay. This person is a energy vampire. This person is really jealous of you. Why is this person wanting to come back to the Aquarius? They're jealous of you because you give freely. You give with this person has been involved in some risky behavior. It could be gambling, but whatever they've done, you know, they've taken a risk. They want I keep I told you they want to come back to they don't value shit, period. You know, like they don't even know how to place value. You know, they had something very valuable, which was you, Aquarius, and now they want, they gave, you know, they put something else or somebody else up on a pedestal, and now they're seeing that that is, that was not the right person, or that was not the right situation, and now they want to resurface back to you, but to offer nothing. They just want to come back and take. I can't make this up. I just flipped the deck over. Look, jealous of you. They're really internally jealous of you. You know, this is somebody that maybe you shared your bed with, you shared your body with, your thoughts, you got vulnerable with them. They were really jealous of you. They were je jealous of everything about you because in you, they saw greatness. They saw goodness and they hadn't seen that in, first of all, they don't see it in themselves. They damn sure ain't seen it in the people that they're dealing with or that they're dating. They, see, they saw how easily you, you gave from a good nature, how genuine you are or you were. They don't get that shit. That shit doesn't come easily. It doesn't, it's not, it's a rarity. It's, it's rare. They're jealous of you. They're jealous of you, how you move, how you act, how you can make moves. This might be a, a person that you thought you were in love with, where there was a sense of love between the two of you because we did have the love card. But all the while, you're sleeping with the enemy because they're jealous of you. They can't move like you move. They can't give like you give. They don't love like you love. This is somebody in direct contrary to who you are. They're the opposition to who you really are. It's like good and bad. You choose a side. Either you were the bad one, Aquarius, and they were the good one, or you're the good one, and they're the bad one. This is this is just sick. They need to just need to go on. Why is one more card for why is this person wanting to come back to the Aquarius? Just move on. Why is this person want to come back to the Aquarius? This person can't even. This person could be around somebody who's dangerous. They know that they're dangerous here. Um why does this person want to come back to the Aquarius? Uh okay, they love being in your arms. Uh, they love that love that you gave. They're lying to everybody. Lying to everyone. This lies, lies, lies. With you, maybe they could be themselves. You know, with you, it was easy. With you, you know, it was easy. With everybody else, they had to put on this big major front. Like they're this or they're that or they're tough or they're cool or they're this. You know, it's just BS. BS. What's the advice for the Aquarius moving forward? I mean, with these cards, you should already know what you should do, Aquarius. If you're not out of this, get out. If you're out of it, stay out. What is the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person? Two of Cups, forgive. Okay, and let bygones be bygones. Don't carry that with you. That doesn't say you gotta get back with them, but it says forgive. Let bygones be bygones. Go seek a one-on-one -on -one relationship. I heard for some of you, you need to go seek one-on-one -on -one counseling. Because may, this was traumatic for some of you. You need to unpack some of that trauma before you try to rush into or get into another relationship. Queen of Wands, um, put yourself first. Know your worth. Get into your life purpose so other things in your life can start to fall in place uh, understand your true and basic instinct, your true nature. And for a lot of you, it is good. 
therefore you you attract a lot of different energy you vibrate high that's the advice for you aquarius um the frequency that you're vibing at you're going to attract those people so make sure that you're vibing high you're doing the work the self-work the eight of swords let this person stay trapped in their mind don't go rescue them some of you feel bad you feel sorry you want to rescue them you want to reach out to them and say it's okay i forgive you nope let them come groveling begging for your forgiveness and you will you'll give it to them but don't you give it a minute before they come begging on their hands and knees hey, let's let them this talks about waiting for rescue waiting for the calvary that's what they're waiting for you to do come in come and take me out of my misery aquarius get the fuck out of here stay where you at all right let's see what else should the aquarius do what is the advice for Aquarius? I'm upset. Y'all have never heard me curse this much. I am upset. Five of Wands and the Lovers. Um, okay, so this talks about new love. Okay, so there's there could be, um, you have some options come in for you. One of them could be very significant. You could have lots of different options, but one of them could be a significant option. Allow for newness, new love. Um, get out there, flirt. It talks about... Uh, five of Wands, fighting for what you want, um, playful banter, um, flirting. Um, what's the other word in that? Um, friskiness, you know, just have fun. Because um, you could find somebody where there could be a significant relationship here. You know, what you choose to do in that in that relationship, you know, that's, it's all going to be on you. It could be a soulmate connection. Um, but... Yeah, you could. It says, um, be final in your decision. Forgive again. You get forgiveness again here with the judgment card. But you also, it says, the universe said, be final. If you're done with it, be done with it because we're trying to take you to something else, to a new level. But if you want to stay here, you could stay there. But it says, snap decision. Make a snap decision about this. Don't toy with this too long. Um, because you're holding back, uh, closing the cycle and going to another chapter, maybe holding back from meeting this significant person. As long as you keep playing in the mud with this other person, um, do the work on yourself. Also relinquish, release all negativity, forgive this person of all of the hurt, all the pain. Don't carry that with you because, um, it's only going to be bad for, you know, future relationships also. Let's get some future energy. Maybe we can get something here. Oh, okay. So what is the, okay. So what is this person going through? Looks like they're going through karma. I dumped you now I want you back please forgive me yes I forgive you but move on you don't some of you don't even like this person like in reverse okay. I feel like this person is extremely immature um, the cards say that you you need to be at a place of no compromise don't give anything because they're not giving anything back you will just be it's like throwing your money into a black hole just throw, casting your pearls to the swine the swines don't the swine doesn't care about pearls so you're casting valuable things your valuable time information love to something that doesn't care about it doesn't value it so don't do that no compromise give nothing let it be strictly platonic but this is a friend that you never talk to one of those friends look for something more healthy Aquarius some of you need to literally eat more veggies or look for a connection that's more it's healthy it's healthy to be in it's it's uh, equal give and take it's all of those things because this person is broken their broken record also is when I heard they could text you could be texting you they could try to get loud with you or over talk you or try to dominate the, the conversation um but they're still in something and they're trying to start something with you too. Somebody could be pregnant too. 
remain strong in dealing with this person because this is a vampire. They come to suck your blood. You know, vampires don't give anything. They come and take things, suck your blood, leave you dry, right? You need to see through this, or some of you are seeing through this. This is going to be a relationship. If you choose to give to it again, it's just going to be hard to handle. You never, if you can't handle something, that means it's slipping from you and it's flipping and it's almost falling. And that's the type of relationship you're going to have. This is drama. You know, if, if you want to live like that, then I know my views will be up. <laughs> um, you need to put boundaries in. Text me, don't call me, you know. Um, don't be of two minds about this. Come out of that, out of that. Somebody could be mixed race or, but come out of two minds about this person. Like, oh, well, maybe they have changed or maybe they're a good person. No, 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 they aren't good. Like, just resolve to know that maybe they just don't have it in them to be what you want them to be. Because you know that this person will say, this person says anything. They'll just say anything. It'll always be a constant fight or fighting. Like, like I said, hard to handle. Put more energy, time, love into yourself. If you do not do that and you choose to give to this, it's going to be completely unbalanced and just unfair. This person is getting karma because all they did was gossip about you, maybe even lie about you. And they know that you're finished with them, you're done. Now they're seeing you and your glow up and you're getting your shine. You remain the same person you are her forever and ever and wow you just need to know that uh if this person comes back in any capacity everything they say is a damn lie you know they love everything about you that's because you you're real this could be a masculine energy who is all talk and no action they're angry because they can't seduce you. Okay, that wanted to come out like that. You're angry because they can't seduce you. You used to be maybe easily seduced, tempted. This is just somebody who's really feeling the void of not having you in their life. And they can't feel the void. So they're filling the void and they can't feel the void so let them stay in the void okay okay um let's see with some future energy it's like let them have their karma it's not for you to rescue them it is what it is um be on to new be on to healing you know from this um this person is a taker take 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 give nothing give very little you give them a thousand dollars they give you a dollar back you know um, so children and mature man, maybe you're going to meet a mature man who has children, could be older, could be going gray, balding, or, you know, somebody who's been married before has a lot of life experience. It just maybe wants a casual connection is open to being married again, but that wouldn't be the first thing that this person is trying to do. Um, let's see. This person, okay, and then in the near future, you got brunette female. She could be significant. Somebody's kind of closed off to love. Yeah, somebody's a beauty queen. Somebody's going to get a lot of shine. They're going to just be on their platform, on their stage. Lots of people are going to see you. Um, you're going to have your day in the sun. Um, in the near future, you could be having a family, you could be having children with someone. This is really good. When you meet this person, it's going to feel like a past life connection. You're going to be dating a lot of different people. And we saw that too in those cards. And in that, you may meet your twin flame. Okay, this is a gift from the heaven. Look, this person back here waiting for you to communicate with them, especially when they see you marry into money, make a lot of money. They see you with this new love. And it's got something to do 
excuse me. It's got something to do with money too. Wow, they're just gonna be gossiping and talking about you because you cut their ass out. Look, this is the relationship you and this person have now. Ice King and Ice Queen, distance, cold, don't talk to me. Yeah, I have a friendship with you. One that I don't, I don't talk to you though, but we're friends. Yeah, take that. Cause you're gonna be in a new union. This person is just mad cause they missed the boat. They missed the opportunity. They showed up horribly. That's funny. I didn't, I didn't even see that. They're, they could even be horrible with money or there's horrible place and value on valuable things. Like stupid. Uh, stupid is in the dictionary. It does have a meaning. Um, you can use it correctly in right situations. If the word stupid offends you, this is not the channel for you. Okay. Um, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there. Uh, readings are 50% off today, today only. Today is Friday, uh, March 4th. Take advantage. Phone and Zoom readings are 50% off. If you need to gain clarity about your life and what's going on with you, take advantage. Uh, again, many blessings to you, Aquarius. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Thank you. Have a really good weekend.